Life Audio. Hey friends, Nicole here. As you know, I am taking a break for the summer to rest and recharge, calling it my monastic summer. And I hope that you're going to get some rest this summer too. It's something worth fighting for, for sure. But while I'm gone, the team at Life Audio and I want to have something for you. So we've prepared a summer series for you that I think you're going to really enjoy. We're calling it our Summer Prayer Series, and it features prayers from another show on our network, which is called Everyday Prayers for a Million Praying Moms. The host of Everyday Prayers is Brooke McLaughlin, and she is a best-selling author and speaker. Her passion is to help you discover the power of prayer to change your life. And for the past few weeks, she'll be sharing prayers that anyone can pray to help give their summer a much-needed focus on God and His goodness toward all of us. So I know you're going to enjoy these episodes and take these prayers into your own quiet time so you can connect with God in a deeper way this summer. And I'll see you in the fall. Thanks, friends. Enjoy the show. You're listening to Everyday Prayers with Million Praying Moms, where we're dedicated to helping moms pray God's word for their families in the areas they need it most. I'm your host, Brooke McLaughlin. Over the last decade, we've helped thousands of moms make prayer a priority for their families. Our mission is to help you do the same. Prayer is not a last resort. It's our first and best response to the challenges of parenting, a partnership for the hearts of our children that God invites us into. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the show today the original co-founder of Million Praying Moms to share her devotion, Erin Mooring. To learn more about Erin, to get a downloadable prayer guide to help you follow along with this month's prayers, and the devotions and prayers from this month in written form, visit today's show notes at millionprayingmoms.com. After this short word from our sponsors, we'll pray God's word together for our families. First Timothy 4.8 Rather, train yourself for godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, Godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. I started running to get healthy. Running wasn't something that came naturally to me, and it took a while before I enjoyed it at all. There wasn't anything easy or pretty about my early days of running and racing. It was a whole lot of sweat and slow progress and treadmill runs while trying to keep the kids entertained or hoping they would stay asleep. When I moved on to longer races, there were medals at the finish line. It's pretty fun to post a picture after a race with a shiny medal and a great big smile. That finisher's medal represents the ultimate goal for the runner, and it can be quite inspiring to others. I know many people who have spectated a marathon and been so inspired by the accomplishments and cheers at the finish line that they go home and sign up to run one themselves. I really love when this happens because I know that if I could become a marathoner, anyone could. But I also have concerns. The finish line is just a glimpse of glory. The medal is just a shiny prize. The path to get there is not so pretty and glorious. Training for a race is hard and takes lots of sacrifice and discipline, but it is all worth it. This makes me think of the world's view of Christianity, Somewhere along the way, the Christian life gained a reputation for being shiny, easy, and perfect. If you just give your life to Jesus, everything will magically fall into place, people say. You may see someone who has peace in all situations, or seems to have the perfect quiet time every single day, or is always joyfully serving everyone around her. You think, wow, it comes so easily to them. Why isn't it easy for me? I'm doing it all wrong. Sister, that couldn't be farther from the truth. What you are seeing is that glimpse of glory and not the discipline and training and godliness that has occurred in that person's life up to that point. In 1 Timothy, Paul instructed Timothy on how to live a godly life, and he specifically uses the word training. I believe this is because we can all understand the idea of physical training, whether it is for running a certain sport or to have a healthy body. Paul recognizes the value of physical training in our lives, but directs Timothy to a higher form of training with a much greater prize. I also believe he uses the word training because growing in godliness is not easy and requires discipline on our part. 
I have learned so much about living a godly life through running and marathon training. God has taught me about perseverance, reliance on Him, the importance of rest and properly fueling myself for the journey ahead, and so much more. Training in godliness can seem like an abstract concept, but God is so faithful to give us concrete examples as He did here with Timothy, as well as the greatest promised prize we could ever imagine— eternity with him. Most people who have success with an exercise or training program succeed for two reasons. They have a plan ahead of time and they stick to it. They celebrate milestones and achievements along the way. These two methods can also be practiced in our spiritual training. This podcast is a great plan to stick to, but you can also read through the Bible in a year or commit to a Bible study. Find something that helps you grow closer to God and stick with it. Celebrating milestones in this case looks like noticing and documenting what God is doing in your life along the journey. If you don't take the time to recognize the growth and praise Him for it, it is easy to get discouraged and give up. Don't let that happen. Let's pray for our children. Jesus, thank you for all the ways you teach and train us through your word and through example. We want our families to grow stronger in faith, but we are so weak and need your power to persevere. Help us as we practice the spiritual disciplines, reading your word, listening for your voice, walking in obedience. As we train for godliness, may we glorify you and give you praise through it all. May our children see you at work in us. In your great name we pray. Amen. If you love praying together with us on the Everyday Prayers podcast, consider supporting the show with a $5 monthly donation through Patreon. When you join, you automatically receive a new, downloadable, scripture-inspired prayer calendar every month, plus the devotions and prayers from this month in written form. Learn more in today's show notes at millionprayingmoms.com. Till next time, friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. How to Study the Bible with Nicole Eunice is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you like what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review the podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.